ओम शांति टेंथ ऑफ मार्च 2019 संडे द ब्लेसिंग फ्रॉम टुडे इज अव्यक्त मोटली मे यू बी अ होली स्वान हु इम्बाइब्स ज्वेल्स ऑफ नॉलेज एंड फिनिश इज ऑल वेस्ट मे यू बी अ होली स्वान हु इम्बाइब्स ज्वेल्स ऑफ नॉलेज एंड फिनिश इज ऑल वेस्ट होली स्वान्स हैव टू स्पेशलिटीज होली स्वान्स हैव two specialties one to pick up the jewels of knowledge to pick jewels of knowledge and second to distinguish water from milk with the power of discernment to separate water to separate from water means to distinguish between wasteful and the powerful wasteful is said to be like water and powerful is said to be like milk so to finish waste means to be a holy swan so water means waste and milk means powerful so to finish waste means to become holy swan constantly let jewels of knowledge be in your intellect at every moment when your journey is continuous you will become full of jewels so today's blessing is to become a holy swan and holy swan has got these two main specialities the first is to pick up jewels of knowledge and to leave aside the pebbles and for this baba is saying how do we pick up jewels of knowledge by churning by journey knowledge and how should be the journey continuous thoughts become powerful by journey knowledge otherwise thoughts have tendency to flow down if you want that thoughts should rise up if you want that thoughts should get elevated one must take up different points of knowledge and keep on churning them one must create topics and keep on churning them throughout for example there was a beautiful topic in yesterday's modli paperless brahmin life the paperless brahmin life government is also working the government is also working there are many hospitals which have become paperless so baba said there is no need of any paper but then he told the use of paper also what was that hmm for you know in yesterday sakar mutli there were two things one was about the usefulness of papers and one was about the futility of papers so baba said don't use paper it's a waste of time but while giving invitation you should use beautiful papers so there were two statements for that so from any sakar murli create topics and then throughout the day keep on churning them because if you don't create topics on what are you going to churn on you must have some goal to churn upon we must have some reasonable measurable specific thing to churn upon otherwise if you say i read murli that's not enough 
you read Murli, that's fine, but what did you churn upon? That's a very important thing. Another point of churning, like what are the disadvantages of BC, body consciousness? This is again a topic of churning. What are the advantages of SC, soul consciousness? One must sit down and churn or write down points. If possible, without paper or if not possible, on paper. So, creating topics and churning. This is to become Holy Swan. So, Holy Swan is somebody who picks up pearls of, jewels of knowledge and churn it. Because by churning, you focus your mind on that particular topic, on that particular subject and you let it expand. And it's only by focusing on something that we understand the depth of something. Because if we don't create topics, where we are going to focus upon? That is one thing. So that is why churning knowledge means, picking up pulse of knowledge means, taking up, like in today's Avyakta Murli, Baba described in part 2 of the Murli, what is this, what is Brahmin life or what are the specialities of Brahmins. If you read it once, okay, you feel it, oh, it is good. But then you have to divide it. Any text, you have to make partitions so that you can contemplate on each one of it properly. Otherwise, there is one theory. You have to divide it and convert it into different topics so that you have time to churn on each one of it. So, in the similar manner, part one of the Murli. It's very simple, but how beautifully Baba has described. There is an expansion, there is a tree. So, tree has got expansion and tree has got leaves, tree has got flowers and tree has got fruits. So Baba is happy to see the expansion, Baba is happy to see the leaves, Baba is happy to see the flowers and Baba is happy to see the fruits. Now you are the fruit and the rest of the world is leaves or fruit uh, or flowers or expansion. So this is what the Murli is all about. So. The topic of the churning would be how is this tree? What are the roots? What is the branch? What are the what is the trunk? What is the branch? What are the twigs? What are the leaves? What are the flowers? And uh, what are the fruits? And in one Murli Baba had said, this is one beautiful tree. That in the same tree you will get two to three different variety of fruits. There are some fruit trees like that in the world, where in the same tree you get two or three varieties of fruit. So, this is something like that. So, these are all the things for churning. So, here, Holy Hans means one who picks up pulse of knowledge, jewels of knowledge. Holy Hans means you churn knowledge. So, how to churn knowledge? What should one do in order to sharpen the churning thing? Hmm? What one should do in order to increase the churning? Find? Okay. Five W's hmm. and an H. Five wives and one husband. Hmm. Why? When? What? Where? How? Which? These are the ways to churn. What else? You are given a topic, for example, table. Table is the topic. You have to churn on it. What you will do? What are the disadvantages of table? What are the advantages of table? What are the types of table? Why it is? What is the meaning of the word table? Uh, what is the cost of table? How it is made? What are the specialities of table? What is the need of table? from where the table has come. 
why it has come who invented hmm? which wood what is the quality of the wood which paint hmm. so this is the journey why only this color why not other color why not red color what are the uh, man made what time it was made if it is damage trouble shooters how to repair what else ha huh? to who it might belongs and how can i acquire it <laughs> what are the means what is the what where where do you get such tables which shop and which is the quality what is the guarantee so this is just a simple example that you have a table in front of you and now you have these many questions in a similar manner this duster you are given a, write an essay on duster how do you write essay on duster again the same and same from where the duster is made who this thought of duster which company, which company is making what all things written here who discovered who, who what was the need and from where which material it is made what are the different types what is the cost which is the best quality one and uh, many things like that who brought it who brought it here why it was not a good quality one why he brought this this color only so this is the churning in this similar manner now so on now as we know so many things about this duster and this table but we do not know much about so on so first of all you have to collect raw material for churning you have to know what are so ons where do we get so ons and what are the things which are associated with so ons is it true that they separate water and milk nobody knows is it baba often talks of milk of lioness is contained only in the golden vessels is it true we do not know who will milk the lioness to milk the lioness means death who will go near lioness milk of lioness it means death straight it means death even after courage so these are all the sayings which have been going down the ages but we do not know the veracity of their uh, we do not know the truth of these things so even for that manner this is a myth some people say who knows how does it separate milk and water okay so swan so baba is using the word swan in a very philosophical and spiritual manner so but then even for that you need some basic raw material to churn for to churn you need collect knowledge information bits of pieces of information that is one thing and then questioning brainstorming and then discussing and reading more about it and going in solitude and churning about it and sitting and trying to understand things so this is how you pick up pearls of knowledge what is this tree of expansion and why baba is happy to see both expansion as well as the essence so this are this is how you keep on churning asking questions okay so holy hands means first speciality is speaking of pearls second is it segregates water it segregates milk from water and water means waste milk means powerful so basically it means a spiritual souls they give up waste they finish waste and they revel only in powerful things so this is what does it mean so it means power of discernment power of discernment power to decide whatever you call so that you know that this is truth this is untruth you know that this is 
waste and this is powerful and you know that this is what I have to do this is what I need not to do I should not do so one the whole life is a decision where I should go or not go should I get up at Amrit Vela or not get up at Amrit Vela? Should I go to class or not go to class? Should I go to walk or not go to walk? Whole life, or rather every day is a day of decisions. It's we, we decide. It's we are the architect of our day. We are the architect of our destiny. We decide. Someday, some body conscious thought grips me. And the whole day is lost in waste. Whole day is lost in waste. And when some soul conscious powerful thought touches me in the morning and I hold on to that thought, I find my whole day is elevated. Early morning a thought of depression comes and the whole day I am in depression. Early morning a thought of enthusiasm comes that I have to benefit many souls. The whole day is elevated. Early morning the thought of being worthless comes. A thought that my life is filled with difficulties, sorrows and sufferings and the day is lost. Our each and every day we should be doing something for others. And the best thing to do for others is not the giving outside superficial help. But the best help is to elevate the souls. The best help is to uplift the fallen souls. The best help is to pull them out of the vices and show them the way. They are lost, they are wandering here and there. So, it all depends upon thoughts, waste and powerful, water and milk, negative and positive. I have a very strong negative thought about somebody and I begin my day with that thought and throughout the day I find my stage is not very good. Even if it would be good, probably it will not benefit others. So, this is all subtle. So, to become holy swan means pick up pulse. You have one patient who is hard of hearing. So, you keep on asking him, talking with him. And then, in between only he hears. So he says, whatever is useful to me, only that I hear. The rest I give up. He, he focuses like this. When he, there is something very important to hear. So it is known as selective hearing. Selective hearing. Hear only those things which are useful, otherwise give up. So in the similar manner, we should have selective hearing. So, holy swan means journey means thinking means creating topics every day every day we have Sakar Murli the aim should be to create topics from Sakar Murli rather than writing points just write topics that's it and the best hmm? give to others for churning or you ask them what is it they are sitting nicely no? so throw a bomb in their peaceful lives <laughs> let them <laughs> let them come in little upheaval so that they also start churning so it's all about because as I said you have to create topics or you should have a specific goal to think. This is the thing I have to churn. So that you can let go of all other things. Because every day Murli is four pages. You are not going to churn four pages Murli. It's impossible. Because every Murli has got about 20 topics. So first of all, don't write anything. 
just write topics just as sushil bhai sends every day almost 20 topics from every sakar murli very powerful topics every day this is such a good habit that you read murli and while reading only you create topics and just write down topics and send it to others so that you can also churn and others can also churn so creating topic is very important because you get focused only this much i have to think churn that's it now i can mm, zero in on this and let go of all other things and my my intellect becomes clear so this is the way so that is what is to become holy hans to pick up pulse of knowledge because sometimes in one page you will not find any sing- simple any topic uh, on first reading and then you go for second reading and you find some hidden topic there which you had never thought before and the best way to keep our stage up is to do all these things otherwise mind has a tendency to go in depression has a tendency to go in sorrow has a tendency to go in waste has a tendency go to social media has a tendency to waste times so watching television or something or other or talking with somebody or gossiping otherwise there are so many hundred other things chit chatting wasting time or thinking about your sorrow of the past <laughs> dukh dard get drowned in those sorrows if you don't do this every day this is the only thing one does or future anxiety future worries or your departmental stress <laughs> departmental stress hm routine. routine keep on thinking only about those same routine people whom you see 100 times a day so how can you get rid of it the only way to get rid is keep yourself above all these things focus on knowledge every day there is a sakar murli of four pages even while listening or reading create topics forget the murli now take these topics and think about it what is it what are the different things what this is a new thing baba has said so unless and until one does this otherwise life is a wastage from in life they say we are doing yoga but are they really doing yoga in fact no if you have two hours good churning you can have one hour powerful yoga so these are the only two things which are useful churning knowledge and doing increasing yoga chart so baba says do 8 hours yoga do you need to do 8 16 hours uh, yeah to do why 16 hours you have to do 24 hours churning all the time you have you have to keep on churning something some point of knowledge when you see tree think about the kalpa vriksha when you see anything of the material world link it with knowledge so that throughout the day you are thinking about knowledge so continuously thoughts of knowledge when they are there and then when you sit in yoga all thoughts disappear and then you only become soul conscious that's it no thoughts even of knowledge or churning so to because otherwise stage goes down this is an experience body consciousness pulls food pulls wandering pulls waste pulls gossips picnics pull and they bring you down so to keep continuously on that track of knowledge this is the goal and keep on deciding in life what i am doing this is waste i have to stop this you should have a courage to say this to yourself that this what i thought is waste this what i spoke is waste this what i did is waste this is my behavior which is waste this is the relationship and necessarily i am carrying it for long time 10 years i am maintaining one relationship which is absolutely nonsense it has nothing to do with knowledge why i am continuing this attachment what it has given me accept sorrow suffering and misery one should have the courage to accept that this relationship with a particular soul is total wastage of time this relationship this digital communication with a particular soul this is stupidity this contact with a particular soul 
is not you helping her or him nor it is helping me it's useless as regards knowledge so one should have the courage to say then discern this 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 is waste this is powerful if this is powerful we have less attraction towards powerful but let me adopt powerful and powerful is knowledge powerful is jewels of knowledge powerful is pearls of knowledge powerful is churning powerful is solitude powerful is silence increase the power of silence because when you come in body consciousness the other soul with whom you are connected he or she is also forced to come into body consciousness by your vibrations when you are in soul consciousness in soul consciousness the other soul with with whom you are in contact he will also be forced to come into soul consciousness it all depends upon you your stage high all those souls who are interconnected with you they will be high you are down all those who are interconnected with you family office center madhuvan they all will go down it all depends upon your stage your stage is powerful all will be powerful your stage is down everyone would be down so your stage has to be very powerful that is necessary for your department om shanti